So what's a hay farmer do during this? Are you uh, telling everybody good morning? Okay, let's go. Are you running or are you gonna get in? All right, go on to the other shop. It's a little bit frosty this morning. Hey, you can run down. And Boo's gonna love him. Yeah. Like Mama would. Nope, finish it up. It's only half a bottle. Well, I'm gonna go down and feed. I'm gonna let him sit for just a few minutes and then I'm gonna go feed my other baby. Hey, uh-uh, you're staying in here. You're staying in here for right now. <laughs> I'm starting to feel your legs, aren't you? Gotta get your ear tag. Yep. Yes! You're so cute. Okay, mommy's gotta go do some other stuff now. Okay. So here in the next probably two days, I'll be able to get teddy bear down here with Bex and I'll just separate them in between the two. Good morning. Was you waiting on me? Actually, yeah, Leo's coming home today. For anybody that knows Leo or has been here long enough, um, he's my big buckskin gilding. Um, I don't know if he's been on a horse in two years. <laughs> <laughs> he ought to be able to ride that horse. Well, you'd think. Cows all day long, think. Well, that's, that's, I mean, I was checking cows on him. You don't know how like, like happy this makes me. I love to see other people ride on. <laughs> Nothing is going to be safe now. Come on. Hey. Grandpa John's not going to be very happy if you're loving on his Milwaukee tools there, sir. So yesterday when I came down to chore last night, Bear was everywhere but where he was supposed to be. So I'll be anxious to see um, where he's at in the shop um when i walk in hopefully he's still in his pen um we are gonna probably move him down to the horse barn here this afternoon let it warm up so this little guy was born um early thursday morning in the middle of the night we had to pull it um i honestly i didn't expect him when we did pull him to be even alive and he defied defied my uh guesses He's uh, 102 pounds and uh, drinking like a champ. So we're going to move him this afternoon over to the cattle barn with the other one. Or horse barn. Horse barn with the other one. You're my little champ, aren't you, buddy? Defying all the odds. Um, he'll be moved out of the shop area this afternoon and I'll put him down in the horse barn with the other little bottle calf we got going on. 
You drank it all, boo. You drank it all. All gone. All gone. All right. Watch out, boo. Got one baby fed. I'm gonna get ready to go feed the other baby. I have a full barn. I don't know, I'm just... <sighs> there was a tragedy um, in our neighborhood, in our community on Friday night. And it's just, it's been a real wake up call for all of us, especially Jason and I, just cause we were, we were on scene. Um, but the little things, the little things like having a, a barn of ponies and calves and just being able to really fulfill our dreams, even if it's taken us a while to get there. Back in here. So this is the other calf that we're nursing um, from a friend. They went on vacation, needed somebody to kind of help with the bottle calf. I do have Leo home. He came home yesterday. Uh, Jason wrote him yesterday, and that's kind of the intention is Jason's going to take Leo over, and I'll ride Shiloh, and hopefully this week we can get back on the barn. I just had a lot of other projects going on right now, so we haven't been able to work on the calving barn, but intentionally we're going to set up some um, just some small pens, kind of like what they are here. They won't have uh, the nice front stall fronts like Carol's, but I just would like to have them over there because it is a three mile trip and it's kind of a pain sometimes to be able to, okay, haul them over there and haul them back or, you know, ride them over there. So if they're just over there, then we can be able to ride them a little bit more through the herd intentionally. So. Yes, I'm so happy you're home, Leo. You're gonna have a friend later. I hope you're ready. Get you some new bedding. Yes. Okay, you all, I'm gonna go check cows and then I'll come back and take care of y'all, okay? You all will survive another half an hour or so, okay? All right, let's go check some cows. See what we got out there. I just love this little old bridge. Don't always like crossing it, but I do love it. Maybe I'll get some pictures down here later if it keeps snowing. We will probably have to move the girls again today. Uh, we don't want to be mudding up our paddocks. We are continually rotationally grazing. Um, even though there's not a whole lot of grass and forage out there, we are uh, moving the girls from paddock to paddock to move manure around. And then we'll come back out um, probably this spring and harrow it and spread all that around. It's so peaceful this morning. Just a good reminder. I gotta get Ryder out. Come on, boo. Make sure you guys uh, like the video, comment below if you have questions, comments, concerns, want to know something a little bit more, or just are new here, welcome. Welcome to our crazy. If you've just happened to find us in the last couple weeks or months, um, my name is Kayla. We are a first generation farm. We, our main thing is hay. Last year in 2022, we put up over 25,000 small squares between my husband and I. Um, we rotational graze cow-calf pairs in hopes to make F1 black Herefords. Yes, it is a thing. It's not a black baldy. It's a true black Hereford. Um, I've got a blog on it. That's kind of my main thing. I love to write. Um, I love to use my personal experiences in hopes to help somebody else. I started YouTube with the prompt of my father-in-law in 2020 when um, I really went from being like the farmer's wife to being like 
the farmer and helping Jason full time. That's a little bit of our story. Um, my goals for 2023 is pretty simple. Raise good quality hay, make even better quality cattle, enjoy life, smile a lot, um, stress less, and uh, continue sharing our story right here on YouTube. It did snow just a little bit over here. We are calving out 42 first time heifers. Of those, about 30 of them are home raised that we, we raised here. And then we've got, I think there's total 82 out here head. However, some of them um, were open that we kept back anyway. Like I think maybe a handful and then the others, hey, Ryder, don't, don't, hey, come here. Um, the others were um, just too young. We didn't, they were never exposed and they will be first timers next year. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, don't do that. As you can see, this paddock is starting to get a little bit more muddier. Not it's not really torn up, but we don't want them to tear up. We use timeless posts in between our paddocks. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. So we will be moving the girls from here today over to that paddock. They'll sit there for a day or two, and then we'll move them across the creek and back, back towards up to the cattle barn. The title of this video is like, what does a hay farmer do during winter? Well, if you haven't guessed it, we do a lot of cows. Um, Jason does deliver hay, so we'll be doing that this week. Um, show you that, kind of how we, how we do that. I'll link some videos of um, some of my favorite hay days from this past summer. And yeah, this is my favorite part of the day. I love being able to walk out here and check these girls just, hey, come here. Ryder, leave her alone. This is the first time, first time heifer right beside me. These little babies are our first F1s. Hey, babies. We have currently nine calves on the ground, unless there's somebody over there that's had a baby, which we'll go walk in on the other side here. I do have one that we pulled at home. So we have five bull calves and four little heifers. Yes, you guys are the cutest little things in the world. Yes, you are. Hey, come here. I got some cows balling, so we're gonna go walk on this other side and just see what's going on. I do have one little lonely red guy which traits back to uh, somewhere in her genes because yes, we did use red Hereford bulls, but uh, all of them have been black because of the mamas. So be interesting to see what she throws in the future. She is a home raised, home raised lady. I do a lot of walking and I just, I guess, I don't know. I guess that's just what I do. Um, so you're gonna see a lot of cow chats. A lot of pasture walks. Cow cardio seems to be my uh, exercise of choice these days. So, <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit different. Well, not really different. It's just me a lot of talking and maybe explaining a little bit more of how things go around here. I think this girl right here, we bought her in November at a Black Herford sale. Uh, her bull calf is intact and he is in our arena. We weaned him the day he came home. Hey, come here. I think she is probably the oldest girl out here. She is 10, believe it or not. Yes, you old lady. Come here, Ryder. She was our very first official Black Herford baby calf from, uh, Spring of 22. No new babies yet.
And I've almost got one too many layers on. I really anticipated it to be a lot cooler out this morning, but there's no wind at all. It's very still, which is kind of a shock because usually the wind's pretty, been pretty bad. So, come on, Boo. It's just muddy now. It's mud season. <sighs> You see me almost like slide down the, the hill there. <sighs> Can't get stuck. I don't want to lose a boot. <sighs> Alright, I'll see you back in the barn, guys. Alright, well come on, Ryder, leave him alone. Come on, baby. Come on! You're so happy! I don't know which one of you are more happier, huh? Frank, keep coming. You walk right beside him. Come on. I'll push along with him. Come on. Oh, yeah. Three days ago, I didn't know if we'd ever get to this point. <laughs> Come on. All right, sissy. Run ahead and get Bex out of the way. Oh, shoot. Sidetracked. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh. Right, or leave them Okay. Hey, hey. Well, now we got two, huh? Yeah. You went from asking every day if we were going to have a bottle calf to now having two, huh? Yeah. More fun. <laughs>